Hey guys, my name is Amanda. Welcome to my channel. If you're new to my channel and you like the content you see today, please consider subscribing. If you have already subscribed, you're absolutely amazing and thank you so much for your support. Everyone, please consider giving me a big thumbs up as that really helps me out here on YouTube. Also, before I forget, if you do subscribe, remember to hit that bell button so you're notified every single time that I upload. I am so excited about today's DIYs, so let's jump into it. So here's an idea. You can upcycle any wreath that you may have made for a previous season and make this gorgeous Christmas wreath with it. So I had this wreath that I had made from fall and it was just some pumpkins from Dollar Tree, some greenery and some twine wrapped all the way around to Dollar Tree wreath form. So I made it bare down to the wreath form. And then I took this fabric I found at Hobby Lobby. It was 50% off. I got a yard of each because I plan to use it in several other projects. You do not need that much. Maybe even a quarter yard of this dotted fabric would be fine. But then I cut it down into strips that were two inches in width and I stack those up and then I'm going to cut my strips four inches long. Then once I have a nice little pile here, I am going to go ahead and use a piece of twine to just tie two of them together. So it kind of looks like a bow. I just crisscross two pieces of fabric, tie it tightly with my twine, trim off any excess, and then kind of fluff it out and arrange it so it looks like a cute little bow stack. I do this a lot of times because I want to go around about three quarters of my wreath form with these little ties. So just continue to do that. As you hot glue them on to your wreath form, which is covered in twine or any fabric that you like, just try and make sure that the middle of your little bow stacks lines up. Because if you do that, then when you hold this up, it almost looks like the fabric has been stitched in the middle with the jute twine. And I think it just looks so pretty. So if you have any sparse spots that aren't quite full enough, you can go back and tuck another little piece of fabric in here. Here's what it looks like. Okay, once we get that a little bit fuller, let's set it aside and begin on our Santa from Dollar Tree. We're going to use Waverly Plaster Chalk Paint to paint his beard, mustache, hat, and the fluff on the brim of his hat. Here's what that will look like. And now I'm going to take that fabric that I showed you from Hobby Lobby, 50% off. So it was $7.99 a yard and then 50% off of that. So, so inexpensive. But Dollar Tree does have fabric. I just honestly think that if you can get it 50% off at Hobby Lobby, you get more bang for your buck. So I covered the top part of the hat in this fabric by hot gluing it down and then trimming off the excess. I took one of these little duster marks from Dollar Tree, trimmed the end off, and hot glued that down to the brim of the hat to be my fluff. Once you get it glued down, you can just kind of spread it out a little bit. This will shed, but once you get it in position, it is beautiful and well worth it. I cut off another little piece to be the little puffy ball on the end of my hat, and then I hot glued my Santa down to my wreath form. Now I'm going to have a space at the top and the bottom of the Santa and also on the side where I want to put a few more little fabric ties just to fill everything in and once everything is filled in we can begin to embellish so customizable so easy but I did grab these little wood gingerbread from Dollar Tree they come 12 to a pack I painted a couple with some brown paint and then I added some pieces of greenery that I had in my stash and some berries to Santa's hat and then I added two of these little gingerbread men on there i also added one more little ribbon tie to the brim of his hat i think this is absolutely gorgeous it gives me vintage vibes i just love how it looks i hope that you like it as well okay let's talk about today's challenge redecking the halls so we were challenged to try and go ahead and use some old projects recycle them up into christmas decor this is hosted
hosted by Brenda at Rustic and Lace DIY. Her co-hosts are myself and my friend Chantel over at the Crafty Hints. Both of these ladies are dear friends of mine. They're very sweet, they're very talented, and their channels will be linked below in my description box, as well as the playlist for this challenge so you can get some awesome inspiration for Christmas. Okay, here is another idea. So let's create this cute little Santa hat using a foam cone from Dollar Tree. You're going to want to cut off the tip of the cone. How much depends on how dramatic you want the fold of your Santa hat to be. I figured out how much fabric I needed by just wrapping it around the cone and then I trimmed out the piece I wanted. Once that was done, I began gluing and rolling that piece of fabric around my foam cone. I did create a seam here at the end so I had a nice clean finish. Once everything is glued down, I am making sure to taper the top of my hat to a point so I can stuff that to be the very top of Santa's hat. I'm going to trim off the excess at the bottom so my hat will sit flat. Then I'm going to take some extra duster that I had, but you can use cotton balls, polyfill, whatever you like, and just stuff it down the top of that hat where it is hollow inside because I had cut off the top of that cone. Then just fold it over and glue it down. I took a piece of spare fur that I had in my stash, but you can use anything you like, and I wrapped it around the bottom. And once that is done, I trimmed off the excess. Then I took another piece of fur, but you could use duster or car washing cloth from Dollar Tree. And I just wrapped it up on itself to create a little ball for the tip of the hat. But if you preferred, you could wrap it around a ping pong ball or a styrofoam ball. This worked for me. Then I glued it down to the tip of my hat and you can begin to embellish. I took two more of these little wooden gingerbread men from Dollar Tree that come 12 to a pack that I had painted brown and I glued them to this hat. I am actually going to be gluing a third one here in a minute, but I was just seeing how I liked it. I trimmed down some greenery, glued that to my hat, added some berries from my stash. Here comes my third gingerbread men and then I tucked some berries in the fold of the hat as well to hide any little bits of glue where the hat was folded over. I think this is adorable and it's the perfect size for a tear tray, a cute little statement piece. Okay, let's get into another idea. This is a double-sided DIY idea and I absolutely love how it came out. I was a little bit proud of this one, you guys. So what I did was I took these two little forms from Dollar Tree, the tree and the ornament, and they were wrapped in tinsel. I unwrapped it. These two little burlap bags come to to a pack for $1.25. And then you have these little houses from Dollar Tree. I took four of them in various shapes. Here is what they look like. Dollar Tree has several different sizes of those. Okay, now I remove the sticker on the back using my heat gun, which is the easiest way to do it if your sticker does not want to move. I painted the back of each house with Waverly plaster. Then I took my two little gift bags and I cut them apart so that I would have two pieces for each bag. Then grab some Mod Podge and spread it generously on the back of my houses. Once that is done, I'm going to go ahead and place down the printed parts of the bags. And I'm also going to use the other sides on the other two. But right now I'm doing the printed ones. I place them down, put Mod Podge over top allow them to dry and then just trim off the excess. You could cut them to size first if you wanted to, but I prefer to do it this way. It is really up to you. Now I do the other two houses with the bare back sides of those little gift bags. Same thing, I Mod Podge underneath, over top and then trim off the excess once it is dry. So the back of each house has a burlap piece on it. So I have my Mary and Bright, my tree, and then my two plain burlap houses. Now I'm going to flip them over and grab these two fabrics from Dollar Tree. I'm going to trace two of the houses on the buffalo check and two on the truck. I'm going to then Mod Podge each one into the insides of the house, applying the Mod Podge, laying the fabric down and Mod Podge over so I will have 
two buffalo check and two truck. So both sides of my houses are usable. Now we can decorate. So to the fabric sides, I grabbed a couple of decorations I had in my stash. These little ornaments were from Hobby Lobby last year. Um, this little ornament with a pitcher and the florals was from Dollar General. And I believe that Merry Christmas or Be Merry was as well. But you can grab whatever ornament you like. Dollar Tree has tons of adorable ones. And then I took these little pieces apart, the tree and the ornament. Each one comes apart into two pieces. So I grabbed a tree and I grabbed an ornament and I trimmed off the little plastic pieces that stick out. I also trimmed off the trunk of my tree. I am going to wrap my tree in some green yarn from Dollar Tree. And then I'm going to wrap my ornament in some red yarn from Dollar Tree. Just adding tiny dabs of hot glue as needed and then they are ready to attach to our little houses. So now I'm going to use some hot glue to attach this to my tall skinny house here. And once that is done, I can just kind of mess with it and get it to lay how I want it. Here's my trees. Now here's my ornaments. I'm going to glue that down to the other house with a blank surface and just arrange it how I want it. I will add a little jute twine bow to this one as well as a little bit of embellishment. Now for my two truck houses, I am going to glue down some greenery and some berries. To the corner of each one of these fabric sides, I am going to add one of those little ornaments that have the embellishment inside. I just thought they were so cute. And again, they came in a pack from Hobby Lobby last year. But again, you can use whatever type of ornament or embellishment that you prefer. I just think that this is such a fun easy economical craft and I really liked doing it so here's the other side that we use those treat bags on and those little plastic ornaments with the yarn I hope you like this one please let me know what you think about it down below in the comments Okay, now we are ready to jump into another super easy craft that I was able to reuse some of my fall decor. So for fall, I use these little boxes as pumpkins by taking the bottom off of the box and gluing it to the top. Then I just decorated it to look like a pumpkin, but now I'm going to take all of the embellishments off and it is perfect to make a faux present since the bottom of the box is on the top, which honestly, if you have these boxes, it doesn't even matter because it's going to be covered anyway, you can just flip it upside down. Cover in any fabric you like. I'm going to cover one in a car wash cloth from Dollar Tree or a car drying cloth from Dollar Tree. And then I'm going to cover the other in some fuzzy brown fabric that I had in my stash that I had got on clearance at Hobby Lobby. So just go ahead and do the top of your box, which is actually the bottom, and then wrap some around the sides using hot glue here and there as necessary once your present is neatly wrapped it is time to go ahead and decorate and this is so fun easy and customizable i just trim off any excess that may be on the bottom so that i can get my present to lay nicely or sit nicely now i grab up some ribbon this particular ribbon was from dollar general last year they have amazing and beautiful ribbons as well as dollar tree so i'm going to wrap this merry christmas ribbon around the two long sides of my box and just glue it to the inside. Then I'm going to go around the opposite direction with this very same ribbon, gluing it down, wrapping it around, gluing it down and trimming off the excess. Once that is done, I'm going to form a bow with this ribbon. I am just going to form two loops on either side. I call it an X bow and then I trim off the excess. I pinch it in the middle and I tie that bow with a piece of jute twine. The tighter that you tie your bow, the better you will be able to fluff it out. I trim off any excess jute twine and my bow is ready to be added to my my faux present. I used some hot glue to attach this bow. I just put it in the top 
corner but again you can do this any way you like I just think this present is so cute I had these little picks that I got at Hobby Lobby on clearance last year that had pine cones and berries as well as some greenery from my stash I just cut off the stem of the little pick and glued it down onto the greenery now for my other present that I had wrapped in this brown fur I went around it with some of this red ribbon um, the same way I did the other present just the wrapping it around so gluing it down and trimming off any excess then I take this pretty ribbon from Dollar General it is wired I trimmed off the side so you could see red on either side and I wrap that around one way I created a bow and glued that down adding embellishments as well here is an easy fun economical because we reuse a project way to make faux presents Okay, let's reuse some more fall decor and make some gorgeous jumbo and not so jumbo ornaments. I took this large pumpkin from Dollar Tree Plus section that was $3. I created a hole in the top after removing the stem and I set it down on a car drying cloth from Dollar Tree. I began to pull my cloth up as tight as possible and tuck it into that hole with tiny dabs of hot glue. Please protect your fingers here. You can use finger protectors or you can even then use a pencil or something long that you can use to help you poke that fabric into the hole. I trim off a little bit of excess here and continue pulling and wrapping my fabric upward and shoving it down in that hole. I get everything firmly pressed down so that my pumpkin is tightly wrapped. I do remove that little tag on my card drying cloth and I just continue until I am completely done. This is really easy you guys and you can do this to any size or shape of pumpkin and I think it really changes the look and you are able to get away with calling this an ornament and this is a very big one again this pumpkin was three dollars in the plus section so I took a piece of jute twine I tied it into a loop and then I made the knot a little larger by double knotting it I shoved that knot as far down as I could into the top hole of my ornament using hot glue and a pair of scissors just shoved it down so it is not budging and this will be the hanger for our ornament I just made sure it was super firm in there added a little more hot glue to the outside then I took two ribbons that I liked the checked one is from Dollar Tree the other one is from Dollar General last year and I form an X formation with my ribbons doubled up once that is done I'm going to pinch it in the middle and I'm going to tie it very tightly with a piece of jute twine once that is done and I have four loops on either side I'm going to take these loops and spread them out as far as I can this will give you a very pretty almost flower like a bow and I just love how it looks so just pull and fluff and get your bow exactly how you want it both of these ribbons are wired so that really helps to arrange and kind of manipulate the ribbon in the way that you would like to once it is exactly how I want it I am ready to glue it down to the top of my ornament so I'm just going to glue it down using some hot glue and make sure that my little holder for my ornament my little hanger comes up through two of the pieces there so that it can still be used once that is done I'm taking a couple pieces of um, this greenery and twining them together you can use ties from Dollar Tree greenery ties or pieces from a little Dollar Tree Christmas tree Take some more of these little stems that I purchased at Hobby Lobby last year with the mini pine cones and berries, but Dollar Tree has similar items as well. I formed a little cluster and glued that in the middle of my ribbon. I then decided I wanted some tails, so I took a long piece of Dollar Tree ribbon. I twisted it in the middle and glued it down, and then I'm going to glue it under the front of this bow so my tails hang long, and I will dovetail my tails by cutting a triangle upward. How gorgeous is this I made a similar one with a medium-sized pumpkin from Dollar Tree that was a dollar 25 and a teeny a tiny pumpkin from Dollar Tree that came on a clip doing the exact same process and just embellishing differently let me know what you think about that idea you guys 
really enjoy making these and I will likely make some more. Okay, for our next idea, let's make a tree out of a party hat and some fuzzy fabric. You could also use a tree wreath form from Valerie Tree or you could take a poster board and cut it down and roll it. Okay, so I'm going to take this party hat and cut off all the tinsel. I'm also going to take a two pack of styrofoam rounds. Once all the tinsel is removed, I am then going to open my hat. There is a seam where the hat runs together. I'm going to open it. I am going to glue it so that it fits around this styrofoam round and I can glue that in the bottom and that way it adds some stability to my hat so it doesn't go blowing away every time somebody walks past. I am going to trim off these little tabs on this hat and then glue the seam down. Once our hat is all put back together and glued down, then it's time to decorate. Now I had this fabric in my stash. It was from clearance at Hobby Lobby, but Dolly Tree does have some fuzzy car drying cloths or some mop pads that are fuzzy that you could use. I just wrap the fabric all the way around my tree and glue it down. This fabric is stretchy, so that is really helpful as well. So I'm just pulling and gluing and getting everything covered. Now I will have a seam, but that's going to be the back of my tree. Once everything is glued down, I cut off the excess and pull it up at the top to go to the very tippy top. Here's what that looks like. Now I had some sweat a ribbon in my stash um, from last year. I believe I got it at Hobby Lobby, but I had a little piece left. So I went ahead and wrapped it around the middle of my tree and glued it down, making sure that this seam is in the same spot as my other fabrics seam. Once that is all done, I can go ahead and embellish this tree. I opted to just use a very few simple embellishments, but you can do as many or as little as you like. I grabbed a couple pieces of greenery from my stash, some sparkly and some evergreen and I glued them down to the top side. I also glued down some berries and then I covered where I glued them down with a tiny little jute twine bow. This is such a cute and easy little craft. You could even use some styrofoam cone shapes or some more smaller party hats to make a little village of trees if you wanted to. So customizable, easy and fun on a budget. Thank you so much for watching today. I'm going to give you a brief reminder of everything we made. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Please don't forget to subscribe if you have not. And take care, friends. I truly hope that you enjoy these DIYs today. Here's a last minute look at each of our projects, our wreath, our Santa hats, our ornaments, our double-sided houses, and our presents, as well as that tree. Please let me know what was your favorite down below in the comments. And also, please don't forget to check out our playlist for some more inspiration. And I will see you soon, friends. You can subscribe to my mom's channel. And thank you for watching today's craft and stay safe.